if I had to pare down to the um, shortest answers possible is get rid of belly fat. No, belly fat. Um, <laughs> that is probably what leads to a lot of the illnesses that ultimately gives you kidney failure. Diabetes, oh. high blood pressure, and those are the two big ones. Um, probably 75% of all cases of kidney failure comes from those two. And among the African American community, I would say that probably accounts for 90% of all cases of why we end up on dialysis. So, I have one final question just to tie it back to how you started. Um, so, we know how your father wanted you to be a doctor and you had this passion for doing poetry. Have you gone back to that? Are you still passionate about writing? Or are you writing? No. <laughs> um, well, I think after that conversation, I kind of put my pen down. Okay. Um, and I've been living a life that's, I would say I'm constantly playing chess. My view of living in the United States is you are always in danger. In danger of what? Um, somebody shooting you ending up in prison. So I think um, I'm not at this point a feeling person, but I'm constantly doing the math, trying to be five, six steps ahead. Um, and that has consequences. For example, my daughter uh, uh, said to me a year ago, about a year ago, you know that you've never said you love me unless I say I love you, then you say, I love you too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but part of that is how I grew up. Yeah. I never, I don't think I ever said, I love you to my mom and dad. And I've never heard it from them. Yeah. But it was never an issue. Who, who thinks about that? Um, and I don't think, I don't know if that's something specific to Caribbean parents or Haitian parents in particular, but I don't think that's something you, you know, we focus on. Yeah, it's the assumption is they love you. Yeah, right. Wow. 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 I love these conversations, don't you? Put your hands together for being a part of Pep Talk Ghana. I guess we're going to have season four launching on the